Winter is here, which means snow could be coming at any time. And we're gonna be grabbing our shovels, heading out to our driveways, our sidewalks, whatever we have to take care of it. But there's a right and a wrong way to take care of Mother Nature's goodness. And our friends at the Forum Lab, Coach Andrew Blaze is gonna show us kind of the do's and don'ts of shoveling snow this winter. So where do you wanna jump in? First, let's grab our shovels. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, there is a right and a wrong way to shovel, and most people do things the wrong way, as we've talked about yeah. with exercise, with movements in life. Um, we create a lot of bad habits, so shoveling is a very easy one to get into those bad habits with. So, we're gonna talk about the do's and the don'ts. Okay. So, the big don'ts, people feel their backs a lot when they shovel, mm -hmm. because they're not really thinking about how to get down to the snow. They're thinking about just moving that snow as quick as right. they can, so get they can get on here. with their day. Right. So you see a lot of rounding and scooping with a rounded back. When you come out of a rounded back here, you're gonna eventually feel some pain. Might not be right away, but yeah. later that night, you're gonna be like, oh, my back's hurting. So- What do we wanna do then? We are gonna take it from the back and put it into the hips. We've talked about hinging on here before. Yes, we have. Many times, I know you know how to hinge. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna apply that here. So when I'm going to stick my shovel down into the snow, I'm gonna get into my split stance so I have some good stability down through my feet. And then from here, I'm looking to push my hips back and pull my hips forward. This is the movement here to get down to the snow and come up out of the snow, okay? So that's happening through the hamstrings, through the glute muscles, and it's gonna avoid any kind of pressure or tension outside in the back. So when you go down to, to put your shovel in the snow there, we're gonna hinge from the hips, push the hips back. You should feel a little tension right here in that hamstring, okay? Mm. So once you have that tension there, you know you're in the right place. Okay. And then it's very common for people to just kind of pull with their arms, all right? Your right. arms aren't quite as strong as the muscles out in the posterior side of the body, so we're trying to engage our lat muscles. Our lat muscles are the ones that run along the, the back side here. So that's actually what's gonna be doing the pulling. So once you have that shovel in the snow, instead of lifting the arms, we're gonna retract our back. We're gonna pull from the back, and then once we have that shovel full off the floor, then we're gonna engage the hamstrings and glutes to stand upright, get a good squeeze in the muscles yeah. in the back of the leg, and then using the back side to bring that, sho that shovel full off to the side or wherever you're putting it. So you're not actually gonna be using your arms, you're not rounding your back, you're gonna push the tension back into the hamstrings and glutes, stick the shovel in the snow, pull through the back so you should feel that retraction happening right back there yeah. and then once you have that retraction stand up through the hamstrings and glutes and then you can go ahead and dispose of the snow wherever you like so mm. the big common things to really watch for are feeling tension in the hamstrings and glutes on the way down feeling the tension in the lats out back as you're retracting you're not pulling you can see my shoulder is moving back because that's controlled through those muscles on the posterior side of the body rather than this where the shoulder's not moving. Right. If the shoulder's not moving, you know you're not engaging that backside. Yeah. So really focus on that shoulder's coming back, now I'm securing the snow, standing up through my hamstrings and glutes, and then I'm gonna get rid of the snow. Another big common issue is because people are in such a rush to get it done, they take some big shovelfuls. Okay, we don't want to do that. So in this case, less is more. More repetition is going to lead to less injury, less tweaks. Um, and also, people can't handle the, the slushy, wet snow yeah, up here. So really it heavy. gets pretty heavy. So if you have 30, 40 pounds on there and you're just kind of swinging it, it's going to lead to injury. It's going to lead to just minor tweaks. You might feel it, you might not, but later on the, in the night, you're going to be feeling it. So making sure that we're just pushing the hips back, loading up the tension through the posterior side, standing up through those hamstrings and glutes, and then disposing of the snow. And just remember, less is more. More repetitions mm -hmm. will make you feel better at the end of the day. And just from doing it with no snow, it's like a workout. <laughs> so, you know, you got that perk as well. Yes, exactly. Awesome. All right, thanks, Andrew. Thank Again, you. for the tips, and of we'll course. have the tips for you right on the 207 section of our website. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this.